This level 8 online theory course is generously sponsored by Musicians English. Musicians English is a Calgary-based organization which helps connect Korean-speaking music teachers with the RCM's curriculum. For more information about this great organization, check out the link in our description below. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that frequently confuses everyone. It's called transposing instruments. Now transposing instruments are a select group of instruments who read their music in different keys than the rest of the orchestra. This is because their instruments are built slightly differently. Now, even though they're reading music in different keys than everybody else, the sounds they produce are actually in the correct key. Now, we won't go into why this is possible. All you need to know is that today there are four instruments whose transposition you need to know. We are going to look at B-flat trumpet and B-flat clarinet, and we are going to look at English horn and French horn. Let's start by talking about B-flat clarinet and B-flat trumpet. B-flat clarinet and B-flat trumpet operate a major second higher than everybody else. For example, if the orchestra feels like playing um, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in D, if everybody is playing that melody in D major, the trumpet and the B-flat clarinet will be playing a major second higher in E major. They'll be reading music written in E major even though everybody else is reading music written in D major. But when they play their notes, the sound exiting their instruments will be in D major like everybody else. So there's two different worlds we're working with here. One is called written pitch, and that is what the B-flat trumpet player and the B-flat clarinet player are reading. In our case, they're reading something in E major. Then there's something called concert pitch, which is the music the audience hears. And in our pretend concert, where everybody is playing Beethoven's Ninth in D major, the music exiting the B-flat clarinet and the B-flat trumpet will also be in D major. So they're reading music in E major, and it exits their instrument in D major. Written pitch and concert pitch. And on your exam, you need to be able to go back and forth between these two things. You might be asked to write, to rewrite a trumpet line at concert pitch, or you might be asked to rewrite concert pitch for one of the transposing instruments. Let's look at the other two instruments you have to know. French horn and English horn. And French, another name for French horn is horn in F, okay? These two instruments operate a perfect fifth higher than everybody else. So let's, let's stay in our same imaginary concert. Everybody is playing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in D major. So everybody's playing in D major, but the French and English horn are reading music that is written a perfect fifth up. So what's a perfect fifth above the note D? It's A. So the horns, the French horns and the English horn, are reading music written in A major. But when it exits their instrument, it comes out at concert pitch, which is D major. So on your exam, again, you might be asked to write for one of these instruments. You might be given a line in concert pitch and, and be asked to rewrite it for the English horn or French horn. 
or you might get the English or French horn's music and be asked to rewrite it down at concert pitch. And being able to figure out which direction you're going is very important. Other than that, you follow the regular transposition rules that we learned in level six. Remember, figure out the new key, move all the notes, and adjust for accidentals. Let's go over to the whiteboard now and see what that looks like on paper.